Tell us how Western-based companies can maintain the, our innovation advantage. Yeah, uh, thanks for, for coming back to that. Uh, so the key crux of it is the innovation advantage is the, the, the coveted prize, the white flag at the top of the mountain. Right? At the beginning of the book, we talk about strengths and weaknesses of each side. But ultimately, um, every I'm, I'm generalizing, but right, every, every company in uh, east to west really wants to be innovative because that's really where the next uh, phase of growth comes from. Um, and so we see contingents of, of emerging um, folks coming to Silicon Valley, wanting to learn the secret of how, are, how is Silicon Valley innovative? How do you do it? How do you become creative? But the idea is that we have to also be creative too. We have to be innovative at being innovative. So you can't just rest on your laurels. Uh, this whole concept of innovation is evolving. And as more players uh, from different backgrounds are becoming innovative, they're bringing different business models. So we talk about five different business models, and a couple of them are business model innovation, right? That's coming from the East. What are they really good at? They're really good at commercializing things. Um, and again, I'm, I'm going to generalize. We're really good at making things, really cool things, um, but they're really good at making money at, from really cool things, or even making money from OK cool things. But it's that whole business model innovation. And then we also talk about uh, supply chain or process innovation. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's the reputation of manufacturing. They've got it down to a T. You know? So uh, one uh, venture capitalist who I interviewed uh, in the book said, you know, all this business about bringing manufacturing back to America, we don't have the efficiencies. We don't have the ecosystems yet to do that. And some of the uh, Eastern countries do, right? Um, and we need to either establish that ecosystem or just understand that, right? Like that there's, there's a different source of innovation happening out there. Yeah. I'm just generalizing to be more encompassing. Like it's, it's based out of, out of China, and I don't want to just pigeonhole China as being the manufacturing giant because they're evolving out of that, and other countries are, are, are growing into that, right? Bangladesh and Vietnam are becoming so. But it, I mean, it's even humorous to see an emerging country like Mexico outsourcing to China, or they have done in the past, mm -hmm. outsourcing their manufacturing to China. It's like, their unemployment's high. Why can't, it is, right? It is so efficient there. They're so smart about it. And let's not even think about the shipping costs, right, alone. Yeah. So, it might, so that's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, let's get more creative. Let's figure out what's our, what's our innovation 2.0, like or 5.0, or whatever the rev is that we're on. How are we going to, you know, step up our game and learn from others as well?